Good morning. It's good that you're here because we're going to talk about functions now. And we're going to focus on evaluating functions and this is part one. And I'm going to show you that evaluating functions, it's nothing to be scared of. It's actually something you've been doing already for quite some time. Now, if we look at the expression 4x minus 9, then the numerical value of that expression depends on the value of x. If x is 3, for instance, you will get 4 times 3, which is 12 minus 9, so then the value would be 3. But if x would be 5, yeah, then the value of this expression is 4 times 5, which is 20, minus 9, 11. Yeah? So the value of this expression depends on what you put in for x. Now, the function notation, well, perhaps you've been used to so far seeing y equals 4x minus 9, yeah, which now becomes an equation which shows the relationship between an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate of this linear function. But from now on, we will mostly see in our books the notation f bracket x equals 4x minus 9 which means the function where x is the variable equals 4x minus 9. So this is actually, it means the same thing, okay? Sometimes you will see it written like this. They'll say f, x, and then an arrow, 4x minus 9. However, most common you will see the middle notation. Now, why is that useful? If I just take, why is that a good, um, a good way to, to write it? Because if I write it down again, 4x minus 9, we can now say, well, for the function where x is the variable, 4x minus 9, let's now evaluate it for x is 2. So you're gonna get 4 times x, or so 4 times 2, minus 9, which is 8, minus 9, which is minus 1. So I have evaluated the function where the variable is x, 4x is 2, or 4x minus 9. Yeah, so 4 times 2 minus 9 is minus 1. Yeah? And evaluating a function, therefore, is the same as substitution. And that's something you've done in previous years. Okay, so you substitute a particular value in your expression yeah, to find the numerical value of that particular expression. Okay, now please continue to the next part for more examples. See you there.